This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com, and I'm with the big Samoan Alofa, also known as what is it, LA Smooth? LA Smooth from ECW back in Puerto Rico, the Tahitian Warrior. Remember those days? <laughs> I, I remember uh, meeting you in Puerto Rico, and uh, you were a monster in the ring, but you're one of the nicest guys outside the ring. All right, thank you. Hey, they called me the teddy bear, but you know, when I got to take care of business, I take care of business, you know? <laughs> and you were nice enough actually to help me get booked in England, so I'll have to thank you again for that. That was fun. No problem, man. You know, that's what we do we help each other you know what i mean there's not too many people that do that for everybody you know what i mean but uh it's always a pleasure man it's always good working with you and everything man awesome so you of course are uh, the cousin of roman reigns uh yeah. any thoughts on his recent uh, health victory yeah it you know it was a shock when he first had it years ago you know uh when he actually got drafted into nfl and that's when they found out he had leukemia so it stopped him from going into the nfl and then uh him getting into the wrestling business like the rest of us and uh, when it came back it was just it was a shock to all of us because he didn't tell us all any of us at all until he went live on TV so you know it was a shock but I'm glad he's in remission right now I just talked to him last night we saw uh, we were spent some time together he looks good and um, I'm just we're just blessed we're blessed are you heading to WrestleMania tonight? I'm supposed to, yeah. I'm debating, depending on what time we get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to go over there and see the rest of the show and then, you know, enjoy myself and uh, spend time with the guys. Are you still based out of Pennsylvania? Yeah, I'm still out of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm trying to make a move down to Tampa right now, and uh, it's cold weather is getting to me, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'll still... try living uh, six hours further north. Yeah, I know, man. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Definitely, man. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm still in Allentown, Pennsylvania. That's where I am. Long time. And why do you think it was that you never got the WWE chance? Because, of course, you were very successful uh, in Puerto Rico, England, many other territories, ECW. Well, I did. Actually, I started in 1993. In 92, actually, 92 and 93 with WWF. Really? Yeah, I wasn't on contract. I was just on the road. Okay. Yeah, that's when uh, my dad and them and my brother and them went as, as a head shrinkers. And Yoko was there. And then they put me on the road. So I, I was on the road making money. I was, uh, I was happy. You know, I was young. I was only 17 years old. And then uh, I re-signed back in 97. Okay. So I was on three years with them. And, uh, you know, they, they just put us around. They had us on TV. They did that. But, you know, I'm just blessed of everything I did in my life. You know what I mean? And working with WWE, was it was great. You know what I mean? I, I made some good money sitting home, actually, too. Yeah. <laughs> Any stories about Yoko that uh, the fans might be interested in hearing? Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot, man. That, that man. I miss him because we were very close. You know, all of us are close, but me and him, we had this bond because we traveled together. When he was on the road, it was me, him, and Fuji all the time. And uh, there were some times where he'd go over there and, you know, Fuji's the master of pulling ribs on people. But uh, yeah, Yoko would get him right back. And I remember we were going down the road one day and um, Fuji had this music that is taped that he wanted to listen to, a CD. And, uh, you know, of course, Yoko, he's into the big L.A., you know, rap music. Fuji put this CD in. He goes, Uncle, why you listen to this stuff? He goes, oh, this is good music. This is good music. Popped the CD out. He looked at it and threw it right out the window. And Fuji was hot. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. I said, only he can get away with that. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine Yoko Zuna, like, driving down the road, listening to rap music for someone that's only seen the kayfabe side of him. Yeah, I mean, but if you were in the locker room with him, you know, he had his corner. He had his big boom box. And he was the star of the show in the locker room, man. He plays music. Him and Undertaker, you know, they had their little click. Nobody messed with them, man. It was, it was a good time back then, man. So where can people book you if they're interested in uh, using you? I see you from Facebook. You're still uh, getting booked all the time. Yeah, uh, I got my uh, fan page, which is under uh, Great Alofa LA Smooth. But if on my regular Facebook, under my real name, Lloyd Anawaii, and uh, my Twitter, and also uh, on my Instagram. Cool, and uh, it's been a pleasure catching up with you. Oh, yeah. One of these days, we never wrestle. One of these days, we may have to face off uh, sure. before we get uh, too old. Yeah, We're both yeah. still uh, in the peaks of our careers. Yeah. You have a big family too, don't you? Yeah, there's uh, right now there's 17 of us that are in the wrestling business right now. That's crazy. Well, congratulations on uh, your successful career so far, and it's great seeing you again. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. It's always a pleasure seeing you, man. Always. Thanks.